me Scotty McClue, hashtag float high, the Foss Lord of the Internet. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our Saturday evening phone in. It's 10 o'clock. Nothing gets past me. And I said to you, 10 o'clock sharp. So there we are. So good to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome. Tremendous stuff. Now, we're going to have a lot to talk about tonight. So I hope you are ready for some serious chit chatting. That's what it's all about. Remember, of course, that we're live on YouTube, we're live on Facebook, and we are live on Twitch. So you've got a good selection there to be watching Scotty McClure, and we'll probably be adding more platforms to this channel as time goes on. But <coughs> from Little Acorns, great oaks grow. I'm a great believer in that. So we start nice and small, and we'll work away together and see how much you enjoy it. Anyway, as I say, lovely to have you with us, and a big dinky do. Spread the word. It's 10 o'clock good on a Saturday night for you. Do tell us what you think. Um, I'll just check what's going on here. Good evening, everyone. Dinky do, says a Scotty McClure. So that should let you know that the chat is open. Feel free so to do. Remember, we're 100% free, and uh, you'll never be asked or obliged to give Scotty McClure anything. However, if you're feeling flush, there's a GoFundMe on the YouTube, and there's a PayPal.me on there as well. But only if you are feeling flush, I say. That's what it's all about. Are you flush? Now, along the bottom of your screen, tell me if you can see it. The Scotty McClure megaphone in with the first lord of the internet, hashtag float high, uh, in uppercase. And, uh, of course, the telephone number to call if you want to ring in, 0141 628 9795. 0141 628 9795. Fast becoming the best known telephone number on the internet. Excellent stuff. Now, good evening. Dinky do to everybody who has just joined us. And of course, we're live on YouTube, we're live on Twitch, and we're live on Facebook. A very warm welcome. There's Jasper. How are you, Scotty? Jasper, how lovely to hear from you. And Dinky do from Scotty McClure. Hi, Scotty, says the wonderful Jim, Jim Cook. Thank you very much, Jim. Always good to have you guys with us. You are stalwarts of quality, I always say. Scotty, I won't call tonight. I'm really not feeling well. I'll speak next week. Thank you, Karim. I'm so sorry to hear that. I do hope you're all right. And, um, you know, that you haven't uh, overdone it. That's the thing. You know what I mean? Do look after yourself. So Karim's not calling tonight. That's no problem. So somebody else can have first go at the phones. First crack at the telephones to Scotty McClure. How wonderful is that? Hi, Scotty. How are you? Hello, Susan. Good to hear from you out in Lanarkshire there. Am I correct? There we go. Fantastic stuff. And we're just building up. So, Susan, this is very new. We're about, um, oh, a week, 10 days old now. I think we're into phone in 13 tonight. Unlucky for some. But let's hope it's an absolute belter. We do have to finish at 11 o'clock sharp because the bar shuts. So there you go, fantastic stuff. Dinky do, I say to all of you, hashtag float I, first lord of the internet. Now, if you're watching on YouTube, please, I beg of you, do hit subscribe. Don't dilly dally on that at all. So make sure you've subscribed on the YouTube and tap the bell, tap the dinky do, as somebody said, to let you know when Scotty McClure goes live. This phone-in will suddenly just go very big. It might take a little bit of time, but it will suddenly go massive because everyone loves a phone-in. I've been doing them for nigh on 30 years, so that's a reasonable pedigree to start off with for starters, I say. There we are. Just had a lovely discussion with an old lecturer of mine on Facebook about me playing King Lear in the theatre. Would you come and see Scotty McClue playing King Lear? A very tragic character. There's Stacy with us. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Scotty, says the wonderful Jerry. Jerry, we thoroughly enjoyed your call. Absolutely an excellent call. Very intelligent man. 
I'm just checking that everything's live here on the old Facebook. Fantastic stuff. There we go. Scott, yes, we're live on Facebook. And Louise has joined us. Tremendous. I'll give everybody a love there. Super stuff. Welcome. Nice to hear from Louise there. That's very good on Facebook. Scotty McClure, live just for you right across the internet. We will build and build and build. Rome wasn't built in a day. And, um, you know, I think 10 days, something like 10 days, we've been live. Yes, says Jim. Good one, Jim. Excellent stuff. That's what it's all about. You'd come to the theatre and see Scotty McClure playing King Lear. Yes. Oh, wonderful. Now, uh, I think, like all these parts, though, you know, it depends on who we get for the others, you know. Cordelia, oh, that would be going as well. We need to see who we got for that. Very, very important. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, First Lord of the Internet, hashtag Flutai. And we're live on YouTube, and we're live on Twitch. If you're a Twitcher, do follow me. I couldn't believe it. We're fairly new to Twitch, and it just blossomed the other night. I think I've got 52 followers. Let's see if we can get that up by the end of the show. Get following, guys. Scotty is so much live tonight. Yes, wonderful fun. Do you never sleep, Scotty? Yes, I do. I get a good five hours most nights. So there we are. Sometimes a wee call of nature weakens you, of course, uh, as you get older, as you know. But, uh, you know, well, maybe you don't know because you are a young person. But, uh, yes, indeed, I sleep extremely well. I can do because I've always done things right. You know, and even when I met a very, very bad man in business and uh, he was very, very bad to me, I still managed to get a good night's sleep because we sorted out as much of that detritus as we possibly could. Fantastic. So there you are. So that's what it's all about, Vaughn. Lovely to have you with us in Dinky you know. Yes. Unfortunately, says Jim. Yes, indeed. But you would come to the theatre, Jim, and see Scotty McClure. I do like that. And we do value everybody's input. If you look to the... Um, or it'll be on your right as you're looking. You'll see live chat or super chat. Get yourselves on there. If anybody's feeling flush... You can click the dollar sign and put in a pound, but you never, ever need to. Scotty McClure accepts applause or derision on his merits. That's what we've always done. And you, the nation, every nation, the public, across the internet, you decide whether you like this or whether you don't. There we are. Not a problem either way. You're multi-talented, says Vaughn. You're very kind, Vaughn. There we go. I did play the squeeze box earlier. You should see that if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, actor, announcer, chat show host, comedian, did you teach Scotty? Yes, I do a lot of teaching, Jerry. Very important. Pass on to the next generation. You're live at Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. Hello. Who's that? Dinky do to you, Scotty. Dinky do. It's, it's Ian from, I'm doing it uh, Portsmouth. Oh, Portsmouth, Ian. Can you turn your background down, Ian? I can't hear you. Right, I'll turn it down, Scotty. Is that a bit better? Dinky do. Yes, it's you I want to hear, not me coming back. Right, no problem. We love it. No. We, we love Portsmouth, Ian. What a fabulous part of the world. It's a lovely part of the world. Scotty, but not as good as old Scotland. Ah, you miss Scotland. I know what it's like. I loved working down south as well, but I missed Scotland. Now, she keeps turning that up, Ian. Right, right, Scotty. I've got one or two wee hanks. Tell her right, not to Scotty, turn that up, Ian. My wife's giving me a wee around here. I've got to put this on loudspeaker. She's a hell of a wifey. Oh. She can't help She's English. You know She's English. Now tell me, Ian, can you I, see? No, don't put it on loudspeaker, lovey, because we can't hear them. Oh right, okay. Ah. Well, I was I was very impressed with your um, chat with um, Mr. Martin. Mr. Martin, he was a one and a half, wasn't he? <laughs> right, that's what we call him. 
has got to ask you, Scotty, what about is Mr. Martin cannot and will not get you kicked off the airways because you are Lord of the Universe, Scotty. First Lord of the Internet. He will not do that. No, he will not do that. And every time we play uh, Mr. Matt Parts 1 and 2 on YouTube <laughs> every other week, Scotty, it makes us perhaps, but you go and talk. He cannot shift you off the internet. In fact, not just him, nobody can, Scotty. They cannot. The main man. Absolutely, Ian. Now, what I was going to say to you, have you listened to Susie 1 and Susie 2? Certainly not, but I won't do it. Right. Scotty, I, I can recommend, if you like Mr. Martin on Scotty McClue's YouTube channel, there's 1,700 okay. videos there. So oh. look up Susie 2. Scotty McClue talks to Susie 2 and you. talks to Susie. I'll tell you what, Scotty, it's great you're back on the phone. And you've, oh, you've been missed, pal. You've been absolutely missed. What a great I man you are. You've been certainly missed. And Scotty, between me and you, we'll get rid of all these fatties, Mr. Martin, all these people that should go on diets to make themselves better than that. Is that not correct, Scotty? All the numpty heads. Yes, all the numpty heads and the, the idiots, it's all gone about. They should have a look at themselves in the mirror. Yes. That's what I think they should do. That's... Look at themselves in the mirror and see. They can't go out looking like that. That's so right. They are a disgrace to the nation. They're upsetting the rest of us. Yes. Right. Listen, Scotty, you are a million dollars. You are Lord of the Airwaves. So are you, sir. My little wife, uh, did to do to you as well, but my little wife wants a wee word for you, Scotty. Pop around. What's her first name? My name's Sandra. Sandra, darling. Right. Yeah. It's lovely to hear oh. you. I Thank think I'll talk to you. Think you do, Sandra? A few, a few months ago, we were sat here, me and my husband were sat here, and on a Saturday night, and he said to me, have you ever heard of Scotty McClure? And I went, well, obviously no. Well, we found some of your clips on YouTube, and Mr. Martin come on. Well, I haven't laughed so much. My sides ache. My sides absolutely ache. And... If we're ever feeling on a downer, we put on Scotty the Clue, Mr. Martin, Paris, one and two, and... Well, oh. Sandra, your life's just about to get even better, because I've okay. just told Ian to have a listen to Susie too. Scotty McClue talks to Susie. Who's Susie? Then? Is that Mr. Martin's brother? No, no, that's a lady that phoned in, I think, to either two or three times, and she would not go away. Was she just as disappointed in your show as Mr. Martin? Yes, yes, she was furious. <laughs> <laughs> she was absolutely well, furious, I'll Sandra. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, Scotty McClue, I've listened to a lot of funny things in my life, right? But your show is one of the funniest. Bless you. Absolutely brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And it's an honour, Mr. McClue, it's an honour for this wee wifey down in the oh, wee wifey. to speak with you this evening. Thank you so much. It's a privilege for me to have you on the show, and thank you, Sandra. Well, thank you very much, Scott. And Sandra, I'll you back yeah. Sandra, I, I'm stopping at my sister's, and this is, quite frankly, the worst show I've ever had. I'm going to get you flung off. I'm going back home, and you went to him. Can you not leave any sooner? Could you not go here? We bit sooner. <laughs> Can you not leave any sooner? Well, when you said that story, I just I had to laugh and I laughed off the sofa. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant, and it's been a pleasure to speak with you. Lovely talking to you, Sandra. You take great care of your dear self, and dinky do. Dinky do. Dinky do. do. She's fantastic. She's oh, fantastic. You made a you made a smart move there, Ian. I'll tell you. Oh, I didn't 
I tell you what, Scotty, listen, you are Lord of the Airwaves, King of the Planet, Scotty, and you, nobody will shift you off this radio. You keep it going, young sir, and good luck that Bless you. everything that you do, and get all the corners to phone you in, and let's get on about fatties and people that smoke these damn cigarettes. Yes. People with designer dogs and all that. All that you nonsense. I mean. Absolutely, okay. Lala. You take great care of Dicky do. And Dicky do to you, Scotty. Lovely to talk to you. You too, you. ta -ra -la. Take care, Scotty. Bye, bye. <laughs> There he goes. That's our Ian down in Gosport in uh, Portsmouth. What a super guy. Now, here we go here. What do we got here? Uh, so there we are. Active announcer, chat show host, comedian, Eddie Jitch. Enjoyed your chat last night. Thanks a lot. Not at all, Jenny. We'll be having a lot more of that. Hey, from Cork, says McAvoy. McAvoy, we love you in County Cork there. I'm just going to come over and see you. So I am now. Um, hello, Scotty Dinky Doo. How are you? We're fine, John's mum. Lovely, lovely. What's a mumbler? <laughs> John's mum. What's the best call you've ever had, Scotty? Oh, they're all so good to be absolutely honest with you, Jim. Just outstanding. But I do think that uh, Mr. Martin and Susie 1 and Susie 2 are very good. And the woman that was full of shit. She was uh, she was highly amusing as well. Just going to have a quick comfort break. The studio's roasting tonight. Oh, that's fantastic. Excellent. We need a wee mop doon sometimes. Dinky do, good man. Doc, it's lovely to have you with us as well. And dinky do, my good man. Fantastic stuff. It's Saturday night. A Saturday night. I see what you just did there, John's mom. Excellent stuff, wonderful stuff. That's what we like and think you do, I say. Susan says, some people can't help being fat due to health problems. Well, this is true, Susan. You're always going to get the exceptions, but a lot of them, as we well know, have just stuffed themselves with the cream cakes and the chips. So there we are. And uh, there's no getting away from that. It's a fact of life. There we go. I'm uh, I'm looking after them because I want these people to survive. So I raise awareness. That's what it's to do with. Hello, have I missed much? Gordon, you have missed the most fantastic call from Ian and his wife Sandra down in Gosport in, uh, in Hampshire near Portsmouth. There we are. Take your bonnet off, Scotty. You'll call to Suzanne. The bonnet won't come off. It's woven into my head. It's like a piercing. So there we go. It's a very soft piercing. This badge goes goes through. Don't try that at home now, folks. That was for entertainment purposes only. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue. Hashtag Floatai, the first lord of the internet. This is the big one. We're live on YouTube. We're live on Twitch. And we're live on Facebook. There we are. We're just looking after you on Facebook. There we go. Small numbers I see on the Facebook, but we'll share it and let everybody know that we are on. So I'll say, join us now. I'll share it to the group. There we are. Fantastic. The Scotty McClure group. Scotty McClure fans and discussion. There we go. I will just say that we're live now. Join in live now. Excellent stuff. Phone in. Yeah. That's it. Live now. Phone in. Good. Just sending all these people around a wee message to tell them that we are actually live. Scotty, hope you're well. John, how lovely to have you with us. Thanks for joining us. Tremendous. We've got a lot of input there. And Gordon, is that you in for the night? We are wee walking wee Oliver. What a top dog. I say a beautiful wee dog. Gordon is a great man but quite often gordon goes out to the shops late on a saturday night so there we are 20 days into a 30-day ban for calling someone an idiot oh gordon for goodness sake but you know i got on to them uh you know because i'd called somebody a green-eyed monster and then they were showing absolute filth and i got in touch with them and they said no no that's not 
breaking any community rules. Their absolute filth was fine, but my green-eyed monster was uh, a few days off. Evening, Scotty. Hope you're well. All the best from Donegal. We love you in Donegal, George. And the top of the evening to you, I see. What's the creek in Donegal? Hello from Blackpool. We love Blackpool. Did you see the crowd in George Square today? I know. What's going on, John? Very, very interesting. But does it serve a useful purpose, I ask you? So there we are. That's what we want to know. Now, keep sharing, guys. I've got my trusty device here, and I'll do a bit more sharing just as we speak. Let everybody know what is what. And if you can do the same, then I can just let people know. I'll just say live now. There we are. Live now. Phone in. Okay. Fantastic. Right. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello. It's Jim Gumpia. How are you doing, Scotty? Jim, how are you getting on, son? Good to hear from you. Hey, um, I'm fine and dandy in and out. Hey, do you want a wee joke? Well, is it a clean wee joke? Because sometimes somebody's idea of a wee joke isn't really. So I tend not to. That's very clean. Very clean, and it's not about any people. No, no. Go on, Jim. It's, a, it's about the taxi drivers. What about them? They better stop talking behind my back. I love it. How fantastic. <laughs> Good one, Jim. Listen, I'll leave you with this one. I jumped into a taxi. I said, can you take us up to McDonald Road? He says, it's just around the corner. I'll no charge you. I says, no, that's no fair. <laughs> Thank you, do, Jim. Thank you, do. I'm listening to you, mate. Thank you, Leo. Lovely to hear you. ta -la -la. There we are. What up, man? That was very good. We liked that. The taxi driver. I was a taxi driver, but people were talking behind my back. So there we are. We're just in from a walk from delivering a pizza crunch supper to a friend. But Oliver and I will have another wee walk immediately before bed. Very wise, Gordon. Excellent. And I've no doubt Oliver will appreciate that. What happened in George Square, says Gordon, to John? John, would you like to do the honours and spill the beans? What happened in George Square? Gordon is wanting to know. Gordon is a Glaswegian, a very cultured, very cultured, cultured man. Very, very important. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure. We're, of course, live on the internet phone in. How big is that, guys? How big could this be? Let's just think about it. And we're watching on YouTube. Please get subscribing. Tap the bell. Say notifications. Let me know when Scotty McClure goes live. Now, you've got the telephone number as well, 0141. 628-9795. Fast becoming the best known telephone number on the internet. Amazing. <clears throat> also, if you're a TikToker, you can follow me at Scotty McClue. So the small A, the we am person there. And uh, then S-C-O-T-T-I-E-M-C-C-L-U-E. TikTok. Get on to that. We'll get the TikTokers joining us later. I'm sitting in the kitchen floor playing with doggy toys and listening to you. And Oliver's through in the next room in his basket. Is that correct? <laughs> Fantastic. Gordon, you'll not just be listening. You'll have to accept McClue's pus is live as well. I'm sitting on the... Yes, I just said that. We know that. Wonderful. That's Gordon. Fantastic, Gordon. Dinky-doo, I say to you. Now, uh, what was I going to talk to you about? Yes, last night we had a super discussion about making tobacco illegal. And I think that is not a bad discussion. Tonight's discussion's a little bit more serious because it's saying, should we bring back the death penalty for some of the crimes going on in society? So there you go. So what do you think about that? You know? <clears throat> As the old uh, as the old judge said, was it Judge Jeffries that been in the war or hanging these people? So there we are. We thought we'd civilized our society, but there are people determined to uncivilize our society or incivilize our society. And how should we deal with them? All right, very, very important. So there we go. Now I'm just 
thumbless down. There we go. Fantastic stuff. That's that. Very, very important. Now, um, what else have we got? I'm just having a look there. So if you want to discuss either of these, you're welcome to do so. One's a bit heavy, of course, maybe for a Saturday night. But it's food for thought with all the things that's going on in the world today. Uh, Scotty McLean, megaphone in. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty McLean, of course, hashtag Flutai. And you can follow me right across the internet. You can follow me on uh, Facebook, of course. You can follow me on Facebook. And, uh, but I've been on Facebook for many, many years now. And what happens on Facebook is that you don't actually get bigger. I think you get smaller the longer you're on there. Uh, YouTube, fantastic. We haven't even scratched the surface. So my YouTube channel is the world's best kept secret to date. There you are. I think we've got something like 2,800 people on the YouTube channel. So the best kept secret to date. And um, Twitter, if you're a Twitterer, you can follow me at Scotty McClue. <coughs> very, very important to get on to all that because everybody has different social media. And they say, oh, no, no, I don't do that. I don't do that. Twitch. Now, Twitch has just been a wee surprise. We just had one or two people watching on Twitch when we started, and now it's starting to snowball. So I like that. I think 52 people followed me. So if you're on Twitch right now, get following Big Style and share it with all your gamers. Tell 10 to tell 10. The important thing when we're starting something brand new, guys, is for you to get sharing. And I know it's a big thing. You think, oh, I don't bother with all that. Please do bother. Start bothering. Somebody, oh, I don't care about that. No, please start caring. Because then you'll build it up and it just gets better and better. Fantastic. Uh, good evening to Scotty. Lovely to see you. Robert Scrimger. How lovely to have you on. One of the, the world's most intelligent men. I have been absolutely bowled over by the caliber of the people that join us here on the internet. Just outstanding. When I think about it, I think of all the years and years and years, 30 years this year of radio phone-ins and all the wonderful characters we've had, but the dafties as well. And on here, we've got the, the sensibles. <laughs> we've got all these highly intelligent people that have been joining me on YouTube and Facebook during the pandemic, the lockdowns. Remember, every morning and every evening, couple of hours during the lockdown, just to keep everybody in good tip-top nick. And that's why we started the phone-in, because mainstream media is failing the people badly. You're not getting enough fun. You're not getting enough joy. You're not getting to participate. When did you last hear a good radio phone in that everybody was piling on to? You know, that's the thing. I'm going to do a little bit of sharing, guys. So I think it's important. Uh, so there we are. I'll share with this lot. And I'll say live now. Live now. Phone in. Yes, there we are. So just sending that round the internet a little bit, and that should be quite good. And uh, So there we go. We didn't hear what happened in George Square, John. There's the wonderful Alan Brown in Washington, D.C. And he says, dinky-do, Scotty. Dinky-do, Alan Brown. Fantastic man. Andy Murray at the tennis. Dinky-do, Andy, from Scotty McClure. Alan Brown has got this most fantastic voice. And uh, I don't know if I told you the other night, but he's a Burnsian. And he was born in Dumfries. Uh, he's, he's a Dunhamer, as we call him. And Alan is a great Robert Burns man. Because uh, Burns, of course, Dumfries. And he does a wonderful address to the Haggis. And I saw it on YouTube. Was it YouTube or Facebook? Can't remember. But I saw Alan's address to the haggis. Outstanding. So there we are. Absolutely outstanding. What happened to the radio show, Scotty? Somebody complained, Susan. And it caused a huge tushy. They weren't used to complaints because they were a gentle crowd that just play music. 
and they didn't know how to handle it. Some woman, um, in fact, I think it was some woman from out your way, had complained and caused us stushy, and they couldn't cope with that. So they went for music on Fridays, Saturday, and Sunday. And that was the end of Scotty McLean Nation Radio. Three years today. There we are. Three years today. They're a gentle lot. So my advice to anybody that's thinking about complaining, think that you could ruin somebody's career. You know, it's that sort of idea. But we're here, Susan, and that's what matters, you know, uh, is that sort of idea. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Now, um, a very warm welcome to everybody who's just joined us. This is good to see the numbers going up. We're about 10 days old, but in reality, we're barely a week old because last night we did our first proper big Friday night phone in. The rest have been really technical rehearsals. And I know a lot of you have been kind enough to come and watch. We really do appreciate it. Do feel free to phone. This is your show with your calls, and you can phone in and have a good chit chat. So that's what happened there, Susan. But uh, you know, I don't, uh, I don't mind. You know, I've been uh, been battered and bruised all these thirty by an angry public who disagree with what McClue's telling them, and you need to take a telling. I always say, "Hi, how are you, Deja Toch?" We are very well, lovely to hear from you, and a big dinky do. Good to have you with us. That's what it's all about. Very, very busy on here. Uh, so there we go. Oh, my goodness. Phone's going all the time. Never a dull moment, I say. There we are, tremendous stuff. I think I maybe have to put this off eventually if it gets any busier. There we go. Remember to call us. Uh, so we've got Gordon Robertson has just sent me four pounds 49 pence. Gordon, I bet you've sent a fiver, you naughty boy. Sheba dog writing with a brush, writing number one on a piece of paper. How amazing are you, Gordon? Thank you so much. That is hugely kind of you. And, uh, you know, I, I, I don't deserve it. As I say, I accept applause or derision on my merits. And you have obviously been kind enough to say, I will shell out to McClue. Very, very good of you. And it's a lot more than I said. I said, if anybody's feeling flush, feel free to put in a pound. <laughs> Gordon, thank you. Really, joking apart, that is so kind of you. And so very, very much appreciated. Gordon Robertson, guys, ladies and gentlemen, the clap for Gordon. Gordon, we're giving you the clap. I won't actually do it. We'll do silent applause because if we do it loud, somebody's got their headphones on and it'll just blow them away. There we are. It only takes one person to finish one's career. Absolutely, Jerry. Yes, Susan was just asking there. And as I say, it was some uh, some crazy woman out her way. Um, I think it was probably thought she was being smart. And that was the end of McClure. So there you go. That's what happens, I say. You win some, you lose some. You see, what I had was terrific bosses in the early days who really went for it, and they fought my corner all the time. But, uh, you know, sometimes you're dealing with people nowadays who are, are music people, and they don't understand what a complaint's about. You know, it's a, it's a shock. You know, and that is that. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. I mean, I've only had one complaint out of probably hundreds and thousands upheld in 30 years. And even that was very suspect, I would have said, because I used a word properly. You got this, says Dwayne. Thank you, Dwayne. You're very, very kind. Dinky do, Scotty, says Dwayne. There we are. That's what it's all about. Topics of discussion, anything in particular, Dwayne? Yes. Two, last night we touched on it, making tobacco illegal. So I'm not talking about hiding it in the supermarket behind wee shutters and things like that. I'm talking about making it illegal. So absolutely outlawing tobacco in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. And the other one's a bit heavy, but it's should we bring back hanging? Should we bring back the death penalty to deal with the baddies we've got these days? So there you are. String a few of them up, I say. So that's what we're talking about tonight, Dwayne. I don't know if there's anything there that takes your fancy. 
Thank you very much for saying I got this. Good evening, Scotty, says the wonderful Neil O'Gormley. Neil is down in Bournemouth, yes, and he knows, is it Sandbanks? We call it Neil. What a beautiful part of the world that is. Guys, get telling 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty McClure is live. Feel free to give me a call, 01416289795. That's the telephone number for the internet phone-in. We are live. We're only on three platforms at the moment. Pro tem. Pro tempore, as we say in Latin. So we're on three platforms. We're on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook, right? And uh, we will build it up and say we're only really a couple of nights old in reality. That's what it's about. How good is this? And everybody knows about it, but spread the word. Share everything you've got on social media. You'll also get me on Twitter at Scotty McClue. You'll get me on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue one. That's what it's about. You're better working for yourself, Scotty. No one listens to the wireless these days. All online is the future for you. Suzanne, I thank you. I agree. Eventually, you know, this will build and build because the people are with Scotty McClue. Some of the management might not have my back, but the people do. And that's what matters. Yes, agreed. It should be illegal. Absolutely, Dwayne. Uh, if we bring back hanging and be driven back by people saying hung when it ought to be hanged, I know what you mean, Gordon. Very fair point. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. You okay? How are you? It's David. David Dinky Doola. Lovely to have you with us. Are you enjoying the phone in? Um, even last night, I was trying. I kept laughing and I know, I know, but we have to, we have to go within the hour, David, to keep everything easy for transferring. I know, I, but I'm, I'm just going to try and get you another, another show very soon because it's really good. Last night was really, really good. Okay. Last night was an outstanding phone in. Let's have it straight, and that's me with thirty years' experience talking. Especially before my last call, it was a guy who talked about distillery in the lobby. You know, stuff the like lobby. The lobby, absolutely. A shaky doon. I love it. I mean, I was born up here. I was born up here. I was born up here. Get the scullery, you. Get, get, the get away you. through. Put that through in the wee scullery out the road there now. And uh, David, David, did you ever hear somebody says he's he's got his phones in the lobby? Where's is he on the phone? Ah, he's got a party line, uh, but the phone's in the lobby. Aye, aye. <laughs> on a wee telephone table. Got the scullery oh, and uh, oh, David, oh, you must have given somebody a shaky doon on the flare. Well, a shaky doon is, say you've had a drink with a pal, and they go, here, I've missed my I've missed my last taxi or something. They go, right, well, I've missed my bus. Say, well, don't worry, you can you can come to mine and get a shaky doon. So they come in, and you crash in about four in the morning, and you throw down a travelling rug and a blanket and a pillow. And they go, that'll do me, Davey, that'll do me, son, that's fine. And then they, they snore the place to I understand, my son. I mean, right, so the hanging, I understand the hanging. Yes, bring it back. Bring it back for the serious crimes that harm people. Because I can say so much things, but I need to be careful what I'm saying. Hi. Right, so, so bank robbers get 25 years for robbing banks. I know it's wrong, right? Aye. Right. Right, so I need you to be careful what I'm saying here, Scotty, as you know. Uh, of course. Uh, pe people molesting children get like four, four year, three year. Well, you see, so if I you mean, think about it, should they be hanged? Yes, oh yes, you know? man, son. And then, oh. and then you know they're never going to do it again, you know? Exactly, come on, they, they know that. They, and they 
and then the shimmer and the 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 cancels and stuff and they see but but they're gonna get better and better and better oh come on and they get a wee sticky place yes. and then people find out who, where they are and it causes havoc oh it does you know yes it causes a big stushy so i think ah. we should i think we should look into all these things but we need to discuss it and this is ah. where the phone in comes in yeah you know it's I mean, as I said, I'm not, I'm not defending bank robbers, right? But no. Like, a bank robber done a bank, as you know, many bank robbers just sent to go, and it was, it, it, I'm not saying it's okay, but they, they, still, they still owe this money. Ah. Some certain bank robbers kill people, that's wrong, right? Yes. So they should be hanged if they've taken a life? Yes. Exactly. Yes. And they kept, they kept running for centuries, and one day, I do, but wait, I'll tell you this, David, right? Wait, I'll tell you this, and I think this is very interesting. There's no point in robbing banks nowadays because they probably don't get any money. You know? There's no point in saying, give me your traveler's checks and we'll sign them and cash them. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you. Anyway, you take great care of your dear self and think you do. Thank you, do la. That's your Davy. Fantastic. And of course, we're just explaining about the shaky dune. A shaky dune is a shake me down bed, right? Shake me down bed. So if your pal's missed his bus, then uh, what happens is uh, you say, well, you can come and stay at mine, but I've only got one bedroom. Uh, but uh, we'll we'll get you a shaky dune, and they can usually go on the couch. There we are. Bring back hanging for some crime, Sir Susan. Last night was a scream, Sir Susan. David is good. He's a funny boy. He is, Jerry. Fantastic. Phone. You're live in Scottish phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scott. Hello. Who's that? It's me, myself, and I. Oh, ah, numpty heat. Who are you? <laughs> are we dinky do? Now, listen, you. Yes. What are you saying? Now, last night, right, you, you were on a bit man the market. Now, that was bad enough, but now you're talking about bringing back the hanging. We're talking about banning tobacco, making it illegal, outlawing oh, right. it, and we're talking about hanging the coons. Well, listen, hanging is <coughs> barbaric. Is it? Aye. So but do not barbaric, think killing aye. somebody is barbaric. Do not you're think... A barbaric old bitch. Yeah, no, no, no. I think killing yeah, somebody yeah, is yeah. barbaric. We can't have that nonsense going on. No, today. no, no. You see, what you're saying, what I'm actually saying here, if somebody's committed a serious crime, then All they right. forfeit their life, not just and their privileges. Not, and listen, you're as bad as them. Not, like not at all. Not at all, Numpty no, Heat. No, no, no. No, no, you're not. You're you missing the point. Use, Scotty, no. You don't need to use a rope. Uh, for what? For hanging, you don't need to use a rope for hanging. You can use an injection now. An injection? Well, that's not a hanging. That's an injection. <laughs> Aye, but the rope's barbaric. Scott, we've moved on. Well, all right, we've moved on, and I mean, it's a terrible thing to have to do. But if it rids society of the real baddies. All right, well, let's move it to the injections then. Not right, the okay, injection it is. I'll go for that, heat. Dinky do. Dinky do. There we are. That's him. That's Numpty Heed suggesting that we don't hang people. We inject them. Right. Tell us what you think about that. Uh, Dave's funny. Yes, indeed. Gordon, you're quite right. I've actually met the gentleman himself. I don't know about the name. I can't comment on that. But I have actually met the gentleman at a conference. So there we go. Scotty McClure saying cheers to every single one of you. Dinky do to the telephones as quickly as possible. Mm. <clears throat> now, remember, we're live on YouTube. We're live on Twitch. If you've just joined us, welcome. We're live on Facebook. Come and watch us on Facebook. I'll just have a quick check of the Facebook and see what's happening. There we have it. Now, uh, Facebook. I've got my handy device here so I can see what we're doing. 
and it's fantastic. We're only really a few nights old. Uh, last night was the first of our mainstream phone-ins. Wonderful, lovely to have you with us and thank you do. There we go. I shall just say welcome every day. Uh, evening, Scotty. Fantastic. Good. Now, welcome everybody. Welcome everyone. Yes. This is me talking on Facebook. Welcome everyone. Dinky do. Share. 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 Just coming to the phones. There's only one of me. <coughs> there we are. Fantastic. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Scotty. Yes. How you doing? It's John Marshall here. John, lovely to hear from you and a big dinky do to you. Thank you, dear, for hearing you. Now. Better for hearing you, John. This has been a fantastic evening. It really has been amazing. I can't believe uh, we've been on for 46 my dad, minutes. My, my dad just told me you were on, so I thought I'd phone you up and say hello. John, quite right. And I can remember, I always wanted to thank you in person for all your kindness. <laughs> and yeah, I did. We had a fantastic curry. I did. I just went for the kurma. I didn't want to risk a yeah. madras. Can I say I get well soon to my good friend Thomas Peden, please? You can. Yes, we can say get well to Tom and uh, send him my best regards. Thanks, mate. Thank you, dude. Thank you, dude, John. Bye. All the best to you, buddy. Thanks again. There we go. John Marshall, lovely chap. Fantastic. Uh, good evening, Scotty. Dinky do, says John. And then he phoned us up. That's what it's about. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. If you're an alien life form from another planet, you might never have heard of Scotty McClure. Own you, if you're an alien life form from another planet. I say dinky do to every single one of you. You're watching the internet phone in. We're just starting. Right, well, we're, we're going to be finishing in about... 12 minutes time because it's just been an amazing show tonight tremendous we've got the calls if you've got something to say about hanging for criminals do say it and uh, also <clears throat> if you'd like to join us in our debate about banning tobacco making it totally illegal i say to you there we are, Scotty. I'm John's dad. Ah, John, I've got you now. Excellent. Well done. Good for you for tracing McClure. Well done. Well found. There's a tunnel from the High Court running under the salt market. The entrance to Glasgow Green, which used to move the condemned man to the gallows, which were erected there. You died facing the monument. That's what they used to say to people, Gordon, wasn't it? They would say to a crim, you will die facing the monument. That was a saying in Glasgow. And the monument, of course, is a monument to Horatio Nelson. And there's a lot of people nowadays thinking they want rid of Horatio Nelson. I heard about a college down south. They wanted to get rid of statues of Francis Drake and Horatio Nelson. Now, tut, tut, which town has not got a Trafalgar Street or a Nelson Street? <laughs> I mean, I was brought up in Greenock, and you had Trafalgar Street and Nelson Street. There we go. Uh, fantastic. That's what it's all about. Keep your comments coming, of course. Remember, we've got to finish in 11 minutes, and we'll get the TikTokers joining us. <coughs> uh, we're live on here, so I'm just going to get the TikTokers joining us. I'll just say hi to all the Facebookers. Wonderful. There we go. That's what it's all about. Dinky do. Good one, Ian. <laughs> Fantastic. Lovely. Right, that's me being on Facebook just to tell 10, to tell 10, to tell 10. And if everybody can do the same, very important. If you're watching Scotty McClure right now, get sharing on every platform you can think of. Join us on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClure, and follow me. Very, very important. And watch the broadcast on Twitch. Join us on Facebook. Watch the broadcast on Scotty McClure's Facebook page. Join us on YouTube, but subscribe and tap the bell. 
And don't just say, oh, aye, aye, I'll do that. Do it now because you can set your notifications. Let us know when Scotty McClue goes live. Because what I'm planning to do is the weekends, Friday and Saturday, 10 o'clock sharp, well midnight. Eh, not well midnight, well 11, right? 10, well 11, uh, as we say in Yorkshire, 10 by 11. And uh, then also during the week, we'll pop up 9 o'clock till 10. All right, very important. Hello, McClure. Gordon Sterling, lovely to have you with us. Dinky-doo. I'm glad to see you've come and joined us at last. There we are. Best behavior, but welcome. You're very welcome. You can give us a phone, Gordon, if you like, if you uh, if I can trust you to behave yourself. 141 9795. I hope you're still keeping up your bagpiping. I had a tune tonight. You know one of these tunes, Gordon, that comes into your head, but you don't know what it is. And it's just a bust of it. You know? Incredible. So there we go. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's Fast Pat here. How are you doing? Fast Pat. How lovely to hear you. And dink you do. How are you doing, Scotty? It's been a while since I've asked. I've uh, been watching, I've uh, been very busy. This is, I just caught you tonight. I got a notification that you're alive. Wonderful, Fast Pat. I am absolutely delighted. I mean, your number didn't come up, and I don't normally answer anonymous calls because very often it's an up to heat, but I would have missed solid gold. Oh, sorry. sorry Scott. No, don't worry about that. It's I'm lovely to hear from you. I'm Are you... Phone from my, I'm phone from my no problem at all. Are you keeping well? I'm, I'm shattered. I'm so from Abington. Um, Abington? Abington? Yes, I've been up and down twice today, three times. To Abington? Yes. That is a oh. long, it's a long run. You must be talking 50 miles each way, Pat. Ah, oh, I'm shattered, Scotty. So that's you done, that's you done 200 miles with a full load. Ah, oh, for that, a full load, all right. Back in oh, I can, I can taste it now. Oh, it well done, you fast pat. We love you lots, and I hope you've got something nice for your supper. Uh, yeah, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get uh, an Indian in this evening, so I'm um, gonna get some pakora and some onion badges. Lovely, we love that. The pakora, the onion badges. Are you having the spiced onion and chutney? A wee portion. I'll tell you what you might like is um, chips masala. Chips masala. What's that? Is that chips with masala sauce over it? Yes, it's got. Well, I, well, it's not. It's a sprinkle of the masala powder. Oh, I get you there. Yeah. So it's oh, fabulous. You know, blows your head off. There's a lovely place. There's a lovely eatery in Glasgow that does that. The wonderful chips masala. I had that one night, and I quite like a wee peshwari nan with the coconut. Oh, I'm good to myself. Can I tell you, do you know Fast Pat? It's great to hear you say that. I had a wonderful dad. And when I was a wee boy, I was studying for my exams. And I, f I felt a bit peckish. So I went down at nine o'clock and I got some cream crackers and covered them in butter. And then I got one of these wee things, you know, that you can scoop the cheese off in thin wafers. Yeah. Right? So I put cheese on top of them and I must have had maybe half a dozen cream crackers i dare dare i say and a big glass of milk and i put it in a tray and i was going back up to my room and i met my father and he goes why well, you're good to yourself eh <laughs> you, you must have you must have been the to the back four times that day <laughs> oh my goodness me i was just absolutely needing a tuck in because the brain had been studying you know but that was the old boy, and he was just making a point that the cream crackers and the cheese were there courtesy of his good self, you know? Uh, oh, definitely. He's just making you aware, wasn't he? Just making you aware that, that you know, pennies pennies have a cost. Oh, it definitely doesn't go in trees now, Scotty, does it? He used to say that when he went out. I would say to him, where are you going, Dad? He'd go, out to make pennies for you. That's that, Scotty. You've got to spend it. I'm sure you appreciate it now that you're successful in your state of life. I do. I do appreciate it, Pat. And uh, I've always been maybe a wee bit careful myself, you know. And, uh, it's, it's okay to be frugal, Scotty. Yes, there's nothing wrong with it, you know. 
But as yeah. long as you don't spoil somebody's fun, if somebody says I was going out to the pub, you go, do you know how much that'll cost you? You don't like yeah. that. An airman in a leg. You know, an airman in a leg, you know, it's that sort of idea. I can remember beer at two and two a pint. So you're talking 11p. <laughs> Absolutely, my boy. Listen, love to hear you. I know keep you, and it's great to have you on, John. Yeah, uh, sorry, Pat. Pat. I've just uh, spoken to John. I heard, I heard him. I seen, I seen John the other day. He's looking well. So he is. He's sounding well. So there we are. I, Give everybody my regards. Can I just let everybody know I'm going to Armadale tomorrow for a lorry competition? Wonderful. Armadale. We love it. I've got my, I've got my lorry I hope you get it. You're a top man, Dinky Do. <laughs> See you, lad, Dinky Do. Have a good evening. What a nice guy. That's Fast Pat, the lorry driver. You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? What kind of bloody phone in is this? What are, what are you on about? I've been trying to ring all night. You can't get through on this bloody number now. Do you want to know about the death penalty or not? Yeah, listen, you tell us about the death penalty. Let's start with them extension rebellion people in London. What the bloody hell's going on? They're getting the knockers out one minute, then the naked the next, smashing with us the next. Scotty, we've got to stop this nonsense. This country's on its knees. The country's on its knees, and we need to rid ourselves of the baddies. But I don't know that demonstrators should, should get a hanging. To listen to you when you're on that century. That's yeah. great down there. Now you've gone also. These people are causing trouble and making us look like bloody idiots, Scotty. Right. So your answer is that to have it there as a deterrent. You have to make an example of these people. They'll keep showing off. Have you noticed? I think they're all out of work actors in the West End, smashing windows one minute, showing the private part. Why do they need to be naked, Scotty? Explain to me. Nobody needs to show us their bits because nobody's interested. Could I tempt you to go on OnlyFans, Scotty? No, no, no. I, I tell you, you cannot. What, what, what's going on in this country? Uh, one minute, right, right. You, you look down to London. You don't know whether you're coming. I wouldn't go down there with a shithole. I'm not being. I'm not being naughty. Are you allowed to swear on here? Well, no. We'd we'd rather you didn't, but we understand your description. I'll call it a muckhole. Right. You know why lefties? You need to talk about these bloody lefties. They're encouraging these people for two weeks. They brought the capital to a halt. You wouldn't have them up in Scotland. I bet you have sent all them lot down there to cause trouble in our London. Now, now tell me this. Scotland. See, when you talk about lefties, are lefties not the ordinary working man? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Have you lost your mind? No, these are university people. They're, they're people who've got too much money, too much time, and too little sense. What we've got to start doing, we only need to hang a couple of them, and trust me, then they'll all stop. You have to say, if you're going to smash the windows, whether you don't like HSBC or any of these places, you can't go around smashing the bloody windows. Then the next minute, they're stopping middle of Trafalgar Square. There they are, setting up all their crap. Oh, sorry, I've sworn again. Yeah, sorry, you've I'm done it sorry. right. Go on, go on. Sorry about that. Sorry, I apologize. You're a I'm shocker. Now, listen, and, t tell me this. And, tell me this. This is very important. So are you uh, saying that lefties are a different breed? You see, there's a crowd right. of university students want to remove statues of Sir Francis Drake and Lord Nelson. Only an idiot would remove any statue. They're there for a bloody reason. If this is, I've been saying for months, right? You know how they don't, in, in Bristol, they knocked that statue down. Conference, yes. Didn't they, right? they chucked it in the thing. They chucked but it into the seven. university down? Because the lefties, the lefties want to be educated. If we're going to knock down the Colson statue, here's what I say, knock down Liverpool. That was built by all the slaves, wasn't it? Well, you'd have to knock down Glasgow and Bristol as well. Correct, correct. Mind you, it might do a few improvements. You know what I'm saying? No, we can't go there. But you, you, you'd have to knock down Edinburgh. You'd have to knock down Aberdeen. There is a double standard, though. You see, they don't understand these lefties. They're obsessed. You'd have to knock down London. You'd have to knock you down London. And knock down the old country and build it again. I noticed they haven't been to Leicester. Have you noticed that? No, no, in, very, very interesting. Yes, indeed. Yeah, 10,000 of them there working on £2 an hour. They couldn't care less. What they're going to do, waste their time going to London, getting the knickers, knockers, knackers out, 
standing there naked in the street with all placards all over them. We only got to hang a couple of them, Scotty, and that'll be the end of it. We'll just teach a couple of lessons, and trust me, they'll be out the way. Then London can get back. Let's go. We can't have all these people causing trouble. So what you're saying is make an example of these people. Yes, yes, we must. And the thing is, once there's a deterrent, once people have fear, then they won't start pissing about. Oh, I've done it again. I'm oh, sorry. stop! I'm sorry about that. Stop! We're all very, very polite on here. I'm sorry about that, but no. it stops people messing about. I won't say pissing about again. If they're not messing about, I'm, you, you see, you, you can't allow people to get the better of us because then they'll do it again and again. For two weeks, these people who've got nothing better to do, booing and crying as if they're more important than you and I, we've got to stop them immediately, Scotty. And the only way, hang a couple of them in the middle of Nelson's column in Trafalgar Square, You'll soon see them all clear off to where they came from, their million-pound mansions with the university parents that were taking the private helicopters, flying home and all this. Because right. Sort of show off. So show off. you're saying that what we've got is a new bourgeoisie. Exactly. And they all think they're a victim. They're not the victim. These are very rich, powerful people. And what you've got to understand is they're hypocrites. And that's the biggest thing we need to start hanging in this country. Hypocrites. Right. Celebrities and then dopey people who want to start taking the clothes off and smashing windows, pretending they want to save the planet. That Greta Thunberg. Oh my God! Don't get me started. Don't get her. started. And tell me this: What about Brexiteers? Bre wonderful, wonderful. We must all agree. These problems with the truckers, the problems with the supermarkets, nothing to do with Brexit. That's why they've got nothing on the shelves in France, in Australia, in America. Nothing to do with it. Stop blaming Brexit. Only an idiot would blame Brexit for our problems today. Nothing to do with Brexit. The best thing we did was tell them to... <laughs> I don't know. I don't agree with you. You see, I think Brexit's cost us 250 billion quid with nothing to show for it. Well, I thought you were a smart man. I I'm am. Go now, you've disappointed. No, no, I'm, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you. You know, you maybe didn't realise that you've been what from the back with Brexit. Which bit of this don't you understand? Do you want me to explain? To you've you? been what from the back, son? That's the problem. No, no, no. You see, are you university educated? Oh, well, I, I, a, a little bit, yes. Down there, smashing windows down there. No, no, I, I don't do any there. smashing windows. I've, I, I'm well, very well behaved. A spoon in your no, 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 no. No, I polished my sure. own silver spoon. I'm worried you're one of these lefties I'm talking about. I'm not watching you. I've spent all night trying to get through you. I'm not, I, I'm not playing your game if you're one of these lefty silver spoon and the god types that goes around to universities pretending you're more important than everybody else. I ain't got time for that, Scotty. Right, well, there we go. Well, we'll put this out to the nation and we'll say dinky-doo to you. That's what it's about. Right, give us a call, guys. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello there, Scott. Hey, it's me. Hey, who's That's me? About 24 years ago. What's your Please. first name? My name is James. James, lovely to have you with us. See, 24 years ago, when you were on the radio, I phoned you up about my grandfather, Bert, coming on to me in the kitchen. You did, James, yes. Did you manage to recover? Well, listen, you, te you gave me a bit of advice, he says. Just let your grandfather pass away and you will receive the bird. And I did. And I've had kids and they've had grandkids now, you know. How amazing are you, James? That must be 30 years ago. I'm not amazing. I'm fucking strange. Oh, you swore. You'll have to go, love. We can't swear. We can't have swearing on the phone end. So there we are. That was that last caller pushing it a bit, I say. Right, what have we got here? And um, sounds like Mr. Martins has gone in. Come on, Scotty. So there we are. Sling your hook. He doesn't know Scotty McLean. <laughs> There's just spoiled, privileged prats. Nothing to do. All they have to, to do is to watch Megan and Harry Scotty. There we are. Everybody thinks they know who that caller was. How interesting. Brexit was and is a disaster. Shut him up, says Susan. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Well, oh, Mr. Nobody. Mr. Ran out. Fantastic. Wonderful stuff. There's a lot of things that I disagree with. 
but I don't know that we should hang people just because they're left wing. That sounds a bit right wing to me. There we go. I'll tell you. But uh, that he did make an interesting point because I would have said that left wing meant your ordinary working class people with a sense of decency. But he says that the left wing has changed completely and it's now university educated people who are trying to push a woke agenda onto the world. How very, very interesting. So there we go. He has just gone. Give us a call, guys, as soon as you possibly can. People say they think they know that last caller there. How very, very interesting. Yes. They think he's actually a famous YouTuber. Wow. Uh, who I did call one night, if it's the same one. And uh, maybe this is just tit for tat, I say. Could be a bit of tit for tat. How very interesting. Uh, now, thank you, Gordon, for these wonderful bits of Glasgow history. Uh, I had somebody last night asking on social media about the term shut your giggy, and they said it was offensive. And I had to explain to them that your giggy is not actually your mouth, your gob. It's um, You see, gob is, is a polite word as well, but it's just a very, very old word. So you're telling somebody to shut their gob, as McClure has done on many an occasion, you're not being offensive. Absolutely not. There you are. Mega Chelsea says, you wiped the floor with him that night, Scotty. Absolutely. Are you not live on TikTok tonight, Scotty? No, Aaron, we're live on here on the phone in. But I might get the TikTokers on for a bit of a chit-chat to come and join us for a bit. That might be. You're a lefty, Scotty, says Eric. <laughs> What a carry on. Thank you, Eric. I don't think so. There we are. We like that. We like your comment. There's a wonderful man watching there. Fantastic stuff. Do come and give us a call as soon as you possibly can. Scotty McClure's megaphone in with the first lord of the internet. Hashtag float high. This is the big one. Call us now 0141-628-9795. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Scotty, it's me, it's James again. I'm, I'm very sorry for swearing there, you know. James, you said a sweary word. We can't have that. We're guests in people's houses. Yes, I understand now, but I'm very sorry about that, right? No problem. Let me tell you about my problems, right? Go on, James. The advice you gave me 24 years ago was receive your grandfather's bird. And now I'm the grandfather, and I'm stressed out me balls, you know. Oh, James, you've said it again. Naughty word. There we are. Off he goes. Scotty, listen to repeat his accent changes halfway through. Right, George. I shall have a listen to that. Glasgow Fair, We Tents and Shows Performances. Gordon Robertson, you're quite right. Street Theatre, shut your giggy. That sort of stuff. The street theatres were your giggy. Very popular at Glasgow Fair in the 1850s. And, uh, of course, I got a lot of this from uh, from Glasgow University archives on the theatre. And being a theatre man, are you getting a picture? Studying theatre in Glasgow at Glasgow University. Getting the message now? That doesn't make me a lefty, wefty, woke person. Nothing wrong with lefties. The language in this chat show is most disconcerting. Absolutely, Gordon Stilling. So don't you be contributing to it, right? You can come and have a chat. Aaron says, there's nothing wrong with lefties, Scotty. So there we are. How very, very interesting. There are the penny giggies. Yes, you obviously paid a penny for a performance. And I think it was one, uh, you know, impresario, if you could call them that, saying to another impresario, you should shut your giggy. Yes, shut your penny giggy. Shut your wee theatre down and give mine a chance. Your plays are rubbish. That sort of idea. So there we have it. 1850. That's when you were born, Scotty. Yes, 10 to 7, Suzanne. No, I was actually born, uh, let me see, 10 to 7. So 1950, 2050. There we are, 2050, 
2130, I think I was born. 2130, Suzanne. How amazing is that? Wonderful stuff on here. You guys are amazing. What a fantastic phone in tonight. Just incredible. Give us a quick call, of course. We're not having James on with any more swearing. We're not having that, James. You know, people were guests in people's houses, and we're not going to cause them any bother, I say. Live phone in 10 p.m. Come and join us. I'm just going to check out the YouTube guys. Has everybody watching subscribed on YouTube? Please do so and set your notifications. Let me know when Scotty McClure goes live because this phone in will build and build and build. I can see it happening um, just because of the nature of phone ins. Nothing to do with me, of course. I point that out. Even though I am the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, the world's most humble man and the father of feminism. Uh, so a gege is a small theatre. It is. So if somebody's saying, shut your gege, they're saying, could you shut your small theatre, please? That's what they're actually saying there, boy. Now, fantastic stuff. Uh, we've all got that. Everybody's on that. Wonderful. Um, I'll check the uh, YouTube and see what you're all up to on there. But uh, please do subscribe because it's a big help, I have to say. So say, say a dozen of you watching youtube right now hit the subscribe button then it just builds as it lets more people know that we're on okay very very important there thank you for that i say to you always good to have you with us and uh, who else have we got here uh, i'm just checking everything guys just to see how the broadcast is going uh, tonight very very important and doing a little bit of sharing. Wonderful. We've got somebody else has followed us on Twitch. If you're watching on Twitch, do follow us. Share us with all your gamers. Yeah, because we're new to Twitch. And it's very, very important. Thank you very much. And uh, a lot of people watching us live on Twitch right now. Can you please share the broadcast and let everybody else on Twitch know that you're watching Scotty McClue? Shall we get the TikTokers on? Perhaps your production people could intercept the bad language. Gordon Sterling, I am the production people. <laughs> what Scottish legends would you have to dinner or drink with dead or alive? Neil O'Gormley, I would have Jesus Christ. Now, I know he wasn't essentially Scottish, but I would have Jesus Christ. I would have James Watt, the inventor of the steam engine, and everybody's shouting, no, he wasn't. He invented the condensing steel. Yes, we know. Right, so I would have James Watt. <coughs> I might also have Alexander Graham Bell to thank him for providing phones for Scotty McClue. They have been wonderful. I might also have, I'm just trying to think who else I would have. Robert Burns would have to come to dinner. I think so. We'd have Jesus, James Watt, Alexander Graham Bell. See, they're all from different eras. John Logie Baird, uh, he would have to come as well. Uh, Sir James Lithgow, I would have to have Jim Lithgow, fantastic guy. Um, Sir James Lithgow, uh, we would have him for dinner. Who else would I have as a great Scot? My own Uncle Bob, who circumnavigated the world seven times. Um, and was in the two world wars. So there we are. Uh, who else would I have to dinner as a Scot? I would have some of the actors. Yes, I've uh, I would I've had dinner with John Kearney before, so I would have John back for dinner. Very very interesting, uh, fantastic. We would have John for dinner. And uh, who else would I have? Well, there's so many famous people I would have round for dinner. Yes, indeed, and people I've worked with. You're live on Scotty's phone in, who's that? It's me, Marcel and I, again. Scott. Me, Marcel and I. I am going to be Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. I might, Numpty Heed, I might have dinner with you, Numpty Heed, if you could behave well, yourself. Oh, I always behave myself. No, but I'd be worried about your flatulence. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you talking about the wind? The wind? Oh, well, it's no windy here tonight. So you're not a wind-up. You're not a wind-up. 
You're not a wind up. You're a wind up. Uh, listen, I'm Albert Einstein the night. Albert Einstein, that would suit you. Uh, me, myself, and Albert Einstein. Do you know what I love not to heed that Scottish saying when somebody says, uh, see Jimmy so-and-so, is he quite bright? He says, well, no really, he's no quite Einstein, you know. Uh, well, listen, Scotty, did, did you ken the sun's 93 million miles away? It is, and yet when I went down to a well-known opticians, I was able to see it, but don't look at it. Yes, Scotty, can I tell you a story about that show on the telly, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Go on. The, the million pound question came up, and came what the question was? Go on. How, how long does it take the light for the sun to reach the earth? Well, I was one of them screaming at the telly, you know, well, everything... Uh, is it not, is it know, not virtual, is it not absolutely virtual? Is it not Scott, immediate? Scott, I'll tell you what Because you're talking the speed of light. Right, hang on, hang on. You so, can the speed of light 186,200 miles per second. Right. Right. So let's say it right? takes about eight seconds oh, for a oh, million oh. miles. Right, right, right. Right. And you, how long did you say? Ten million miles. No, ninety-three million miles. Ninety-three million miles. Right. Well, hold on. Right. So it takes about let's say it takes seven hundred seconds. Let's say it takes six hundred seconds. So it Scott, takes. Right, so six <laughs> six hundred seconds, sixty right. seconds a minute takes ten minutes. Wait a minute, is that your answer? Is that your final answer? Roughly. Well, I wait, might wait. I might phone a friend. I need to give you the four options. Take away, take away two. Now, now you'll understand why I was screaming at the telly when. Take you away, four take away options. three options. The the four options was. Is it eight seconds, eight minutes, eight weeks, or eight months? And you know what? They say, I'll take the money. I say, you're dafty, you should have phoned me. Eight minutes. Oh, my Einstein kens the answer. Is it eight minutes? It's eight minutes. There you are. And what did I say to you? I don't again. You say something like ten minutes. Yeah, absolutely. So, so it, I was pretty close. So what about ten minutes on a on a on a uh, cloudy day? I but Scotty, listen, ten minutes is an option because the speed of light can go through anything, clouds, the lot. Right. We'll go for it, Dinky yeah. do. Now there you are. There you are now, I'll tell you not to eat. Right, he's away. Now who have we got here? Uh Scotty McClure is massive, says Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. Dinky do. I'd have dinner with Mary Marquis. Yes, fantastic. But don't tell Agnes. Mary Marquis, outstanding newscaster. I thought maybe Francie and Josie. I'd have dinner with Annabelle Goldie. There we are. But don't tell Agnes. Fantastic. I've met Annabelle, super lady. Ian Roach has very kindly sent me a pound. I thank you, Ian Roach. You're very good. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? That's Pedro. Pedro, how are you tonight? No, no bad, no bad. I'll finish shortly. I've been watching you for a few days now. Right. What's happening with the squeeze box? The squeeze, are you wanting a tune on the squeeze box? Ah, we want the squeeze box. I'm only here for the squeeze box. You're only here for the squeeze box. Well, I'll give you a tune just now. Yes, come on, Scotty. Right. I'll give you a tune just now. Here we are. There's the squeeze box. Yep. Okay, can you see it? I've got your pause. I can't see you on YouTube. I've got your right, don't worry, just listen, and I'll play your tune in the squeeze box. <laughs> Thank you. 
Was that all right, Phil? Yeah, that was absolutely amazing. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you, do, my dear friend. Take care of yourself. Thank you, Tarala. What a top man. So there you are, a wee tune in the squeeze box for somebody who was squeeze box hungry. I would have Fran and Anna for dinner, says Suzanne. You're live with Scottish phone in. Who's that? James, God, stop God. it. You're Sorry. going to swear. No, I know you're going to swear. And we just don't want it. Gaze 10 guitars, says Jerry. Susan's very kindly given me a wee dose of the clap. Thank you very much. That's very, very good of you. Dinky do, I say. To the telephones, guys. 0141628 9795. 0141628 You're watching Scotty McClue. The world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, hashtag float high. Tell 10 to tell 10. Share this phone in right now. Your life has got his phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. Big Plainsley here. Big Plainsley. Are you dinky do? Well, bad. How's you getting on, Scotty boy? Very well. Well, well found. Well found, you guys. We've had uh, lots of people on tonight. Well, I want to talk about the, the, the bigotry in Scotland, uh, Scotland, Scotty, how, how you put an end to this. Yes, how you put an end to it? Well, the first well, thing... I, I think we all need to come together and, and end this. We do. We the madness. We do, Plainsley. Well done, you, sir. I was talking to a man, a big guy, Gary Stevenson. No, don't mention oh. names. You can't mention names. Sorry, there you go. Because uh, once you start talking like that, we don't know who you're talking about. Sorry, Big Plainsley, but you have to go. James, watch your language, says John. Absolutely. Uh, guys, no names, no second names of people when you're on because we don't know who you're talking about and we just can't have that. Okay, I can see a Scotty McClue Hogman A. Bash coming up on YouTube in 17 weeks' time. Ian Roach, it would be lovely. Ian, thank you for my pound. You're very kind. It would be lovely, but um, no, we can't actually do it because we'd be hit with a copyright strike. This is the problem, you see. You've got all these various things you have to deal with. That's what it's about. Guys, get sharing, please. Let's have a general share. If you're watching right now, share with all your pals on Facebook, on Twitch, and uh, also on YouTube, and subscribe on YouTube. You're live with Scotty's phone in, who's that? Hello? Hello, who's that? It's Jerry. Jerry, how lovely to hear from you, dinky do. Again, dinky do. I never um, need to worry about you, Jerry, because you know all the rules. Oh, yes. That poor That's soul was on there, and he's a nice guy, but he mentioned the second name of an individual. We don't know what's coming next, you know. Take him, take his head off. That what you say. Off with his head. <laughs> to the gallows. Yes, like they did to with the him. To the gallows, William. Yes. Now, Jerry, yes. what are you thinking about all this? Right. Talking about the big question, uh, hanging. Yes. Coming back. Yes. I was never, never, ever a supporter of that. But in this moment in time, there is too much shooting going on. These drug lords and all these guys. But I don't know if we should bring the hanging back. Do you think? Well, you see, it's dangerous. Your drug lords and stuff introducing guns to the street. And oh. that's bad news. Can you remember when we were we, Jerry, you used to have your police walking about and they were only armed with a wee baton and a black coat and a peak hat That's right. and, and a pair of black gloves for trying all the doors to see that the shops oh. were shut. Yep. 
you know, and that was the thing. And now you've got street battles, you've got stabbings, uh, shootings, all that. Now, if you introduced the death penalty and said, if you're caught with a gun in public, they will just take your life. Well, I think more and more now than it was years ago because there have been a lot of innocent people with hands. Yes, there's no doubt about that. So that is why you have a programme right now on the BBC showing you people go back in time to try and get the family's name back that were hanged. Well, you've got to remember a lot of people were shot at the First World War by uh, by the government troops, by their own right. troops, for saying Definitely. that they didn't want to do things or for talking in a certain way. And we don't want a society like that. No, but you're saying there, uh, uh, asking the question, but I think more and more now it's the tendency to think, let's bring back. Now, I was never one for saying that. But because guns, especially on the streets of the north side of the site, only last week, and broad daylight. Yeah. So it is really important that someone has to say enough is enough. Enough is enough. We want a much safer right. society. That's right. And also, Mr. Alec is phoning you tonight. Ah. Oh, yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Imagine he is listening in London. Wow! So there's I'm, something else. If that if that's if that's the case, then that's I'm the case. I'm quite chuffed, Jerry. Yeah, yeah. Because he's oh, a he's a big star. Aye. Well, you've put that. He is, and well, he, he, he knows his stuff as well. Yes. And he's asking you, have you been to university? Of course. University of Life. The University of Life. Absolutely, right. Jerry. And I've asked you the question, who was this guy, Ben, who was in everybody's house? I uh, come, Ben. Toilet. Come, Ben, uh, Jerry. <laughs> I love that. That was, that was something else. And, uh, listen, I came round to yours the other day, and the door was open. Well, see, by the time I realised you weren't in, I was Ben the Hoose. <laughs> Aye, and why? Well, we're better not start on that subject again, because we just lost it last night. David oh, absolutely nice. loved it last night with the shaky doon. <laughs> the, That's still so, uh, the shaky uh, doon. And the wee girl going back to the shop and saying, Mister, could you take this toilet roll back? The visitors are no coming. We had friends, relations from Port Glasgow. Yes, Portonians. We, yes, and we even supplied ashtrays in the 1960s. We had to borrow them. Fantastic. <laughs> I love it. See, the thing oh. is, when people used to say you could leave your door open in these days, nobody actually had anything worth nicking. Well, we had their door. Yes, <laughs> when I start, somebody had nicked the door. <laughs> we had a cotton, a cotton. I love the old oh. chick, Murray, when he goes, he said, I went into this hotel and I went up to my room and there was no door. So I went down to reception and I said, excuse me, there is no door in my room. And the manager said, I'll have one sent up right away. I said, well, don't rush because I'm going out. Oh, he was brilliant. He was absolutely and, brilliant. and he, of and course, he, was a Grenokian. Well, was he? Yes, he, he was brought up in well, Bank Street. Yes. Well, if, you, do, you, do you know Greenock at all? I do. He's right. Now, do you know Cathcart Square? I do. Right. Well, just going up beside the Mid Kirk, the old church there, is Bank Street. Right. And Chick lived up the top of Bank Street. Don't you tell me you went to school with him. Don't say that. Just <laughs> not very far away. He was a wee bit ahead of me. Uh, I think he was. And I'll tell you another lovely thing. I mean, the man was just solid gold. Because I used to talk oh, to him right. at the BBC. And um, he, he was just solid gold. And he said to a chap one time, 
um he saw him at nine in the morning this guy and he says to him he said ah chick i saw you in naming the street in glasgow you see and he said uh, all right now he never spoke to him till lunchtime and then he right. said to him he said see when you saw me in that street was i going up the street or doing the street he says you're going to do the street chick you went oh i must have had my lunch then Mary Marcus. Wonderful. Well, I had a friend who done the auto cue in BBC Scotland. How fabulous. Right. So it was the time you turned to by your hands. Yes. And she says it got wrapped around her legs. Oh my god. She says she, <laughs> she, said she just continued. Yeah. Talking about anything. So An absolute top-notch professional. I would say the best presenter we've ever had. Well, she asked, she asked the friend of mine, she says, Aaron, what's a midding? What's a midding? I don't know what a midding was. How wonderful. We love it. <laughs> well, you see, see, Mary started at Border Television and I used to work at Border Television. And they spoke. They spoke very fondly of her. She was so popular. A lovely person. Yeah, brilliant. But Chick, Chick Murray is a class act oh, on his own. A class. I'll tell you, you're over your time tonight. No, I'm over my time. I need to go. But can I tell you a true story about Chick? He owned an hotel in Edinburgh, and he was sitting in the bar one night reading his Edinburgh Evening News. And the barman came out and he was putting a new 40 ouncer up in an optic and it overbalanced and fell and smashed. And the barman thought, oh no, I'm for it now. And Chick shook his paper, looked over the top and said, stop that. That's all, isn't that beautiful? He's sitting with the paper and go, stop that. <laughs> just the, the man was just a class act lovely man he was brilliant. absolutely and dinky do thank you do again take care of yourself oh, jerry always a joy thank always you. a privilege thank you sir there we are that's our jerry now i'm just saying i'll need to go soon guys we're out of time here great to see you back scotty says mark g keep it up the judicial system makes mistakes there's a few high profile cases where they could have got it wrong and they could murder innocent people. Suzanne, that's a very fair point. A very good argument there. Hello, Scotty. How are you doing? It's your friend Gaz from East Kilbride. Dinky do, Gaz. Lovely to have you with us from East Kilbride. We like it. East Kilbride and West Kilbride. So much chat on here. This is fantastic. I love Suzanne's comment. I had a Fran and Anna for dinner. How dinky do is that, Scotty McClure? Now, guys, can we all have a massive share fest? Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Every single one of you that possibly can, go on to the Scotty McClure YouTube channel and subscribe. And don't make excuses. Don't say you'll do it later and you'll do it tomorrow. And that just click subscribe. It's a big red button. Fantastic. There we go. Now, uh, our next phone-in will be on Monday night at 9 o'clock. You'll see it scheduled. If you're watching on Twitch, share this. Tell 10. Share it with all your gamers. Yes, tell us uh, what platforms you're watching on. There we go. Hello, Scotty. Dinky-doo. Dinky-doo, guys. The Scotty McLean megaphone-in. I can't thank you enough for watching tonight. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed being with you. Just amazing. And there's a Scotty McLean saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. We'll maybe do a wee bit of a pop-up on the old TikTok later to let everybody know what is what. Follow me on TikTok at Scotty McLean. Uh, subscribe on YouTube, as I say. Follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Reddit, follow me on Twitter at Scotty McClue. Reddit is Scotty underscore McClue. Twitch is Scotty underscore McClue. And I know you're all going, I'll never remember any of this. That doesn't matter. That's just 
a small price to pay for being part of the internet. It's wonderful. There we are. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Alright, Scotty. It's uh, Greg Kelly here. Lovely to hear from you, Greg. Greg Kelly here. I've been watching your show tonight. I love it. I must say I love it, Scotty. It's the second time I've seen you. I've seen you during the lockdown, so I did. Um, I'm from Yorkshire myself, but I stay uh, just outside Bargedy, outside Glasgow. Ken Bargedy, lovely to hear you, yes. Um, um, I, used to, I used to have my own knicker factory down in, down in Leeds. Uh, branched up here, started working in the markets up here. And I've uh, discovered yourself, and I remember you from back in the day, back in the day down south. Wonderful. Greg, a privilege talking to you. You're our last caller tonight, La. Oh, I'm a Scottie. Is this, is this the last order at the bar? This is the last order, La. Lovely to hear from you. And dinky do. Are you going to church tomorrow, Scotty? Oh, I will have to get to chapel light. You know, that's what it's about. Right, guys, what a fabulous fun in tonight. Tremendous. Start spreading the news. Yeah. Wonderful stuff. Thank you, Scotty. J Dog, lovely to have you with us tonight. Scotty says, George, Scotty, how do I add you on TikTok? You just follow me, Gary. So you just go to at Scotty McClue, small a, capital S, C O T T I E, and then M, small c, capital C L U E, at Scotty McClue, and uh, just follow me on TikTok. And we're there for you saying, Dinky do to every single one of you. But please subscribe to the YouTube channel because there's 1,700 videos for you, for your edification, your joy, and your delight. What a great night tonight from Scotty McClure to every single one of you. Ta-da, and dinky do.